everyone sister Shauna here and I'd like to welcome you to my kitchen here on love in the pot <laughs> Today, I will not do what I typically do. I will not be doing a traditional recipe and cooking rundown. What I'd like to share with you is more of an instructional snippet. Um, I happen to have made some vegan tacos and they came out fabulous. So first and foremost, shout out to my sister at Shana Fit. Um, she will get you in shape. See that sister there? She does an amazing job. Um, but she recommended that recipe to me as long as uh, along, uh, <laughs> a few of my other sisters also recommended it and it was delicious. So I did my variation of that and I'm going to coach you through it and show you pictures along the way. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get to it. Let me show you the equipment I use. Nothing spectacular. I have a food processor, I mean a blender, but you could certainly use a food processor. It'll probably be better for the job. I have a regular ninja here. Um, you will need a bowl. You will also need some sort of a strainer so that you can strain the liquid off the nuts. Um, you'll need a cutting board and knife, as we have here. And of course, some sort of a large skillet. Here's my favorite kitchen skillet. If you've seen my videos, you know that's what I like to use. Okay, so let me begin talking you through it. Um, very nutrient rich dish because it's made with walnuts. You can substitute that out with cashews, almonds, whatever is cost effective for you. But the walnuts are supposed to be brain food. So you can do some research to see what the walnuts actually bring to the table. So at any rate, you want to soak your nuts for at least two hours. I soak mine for a couple of days because <laughs> happened to work out that way. So at any rate, um, prior to cooking them, you'll want to strain them with your handy strainer. Um, and then you'll want to grind them. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you will know that I have a little garden and I try as much as I can to use the product that I yield. So I ground my walnut mixture with uh, minced garlic um, as well as some green onion because I have it and um, some cayenne chili peppers because I have it but I only use one because they're hot. <laughs> and um, I also ground it, ground it with fresh herbs. I have a ton of basil, thyme, oregano, and those kind of play in the theme of the taco flavor. So I use those. And uh, once it was ground, I used my fabulous big skillet to toast the nuts. Now this process did take a little longer than I initially anticipated. I started the pan on like medium heat, maybe like four or five, the oil of choice. I prefer olive oil, but you know, if you have avocado oil, coconut oil, whatever works for you. And I just began the process of drying out the nuts. Now, initially they wanted to start sticking. So maybe like halfway through they started sticking, but you just keep using the rubber scraper, scrape them up, um, add a little bit more oil if you need it, um, and then season it to your taste profile. Now, let me tell you. In my opinion, they needed a lot of flavor. Like it took a lot of seasoning to get flavor into those nuts. But once I did, it was great. Even my son, he hates nuts in his food. He only likes like chocolate covered nuts. <laughs> He's very particular. So he doesn't want anything with nuts in it. So anyway, he loved them. He was raving over them, but I masked them with the flavor. And also uh, the way I cooked it, it looked like meat. So, um, just keep moving them around, season them how you would a taco inspired dish. I used oregano, cumin, lots of garlic, smoked paprika because I like that smoky taste, you know how I like it. And um, I also use a little bit of salt, but not much because I had some of that taco seasoning on hand and it's pretty salty. So if you're using that, don't add regular salt until you're done. Um, that way you can offset or you know use the saltiness from that seasoning to um, account for the salt intake once they stop sticking to the pan they really become brown you know it starts to kind of smell nutty and 
they no longer stick and you can really like move them around at that point um, once I got the nuts to that stage I added the fresh minced garlic prior to it um, they were just it was a little bit in the wet nut mix but it wasn't enough to really burn um, because of the moisture content in the nuts so by the time the nuts started drying out I added a little oil and I added the minced garlic and I also added some diced onions and peppers whatever you have whatever you like can you see okay you know I had that day I had fresh peppers from my garden but these are the little store-bought sweet peppers just gut them dice them they cook just like regular peppers I believe I added a whole onion and I may have used a little bit of a red onion because that's what I had either variety of onion will do and you cook that in until they start to get tender. And then I added some picante to give it some moisture content. And to give it more of that meat, meaty type texture. Um, and once it tasted good to me, I stopped and um, sat that to the side. So now for my other components, I added um, cooked quinoa. Not only is it gonna give you more volume, it's also gonna help to keep you full because actually it is a complete protein all by itself. And then of course the nuts are protein. So it's a protein packed meal. Um, I also added wilted spinach. You could certainly use arugula, whatever you have on hand. So. Um, that's what I did because that's what I had and I was serving it to be like a one punch meal so everything was in there. I didn't do them taco style, I did them burrito style because I happen to have had access to some huge burrito wraps. They were probably like 10 inch. Um, the same ones that I used on the campfire ready meals video. Check, touch the little link there, it'll send you over, you can check that out. So at any rate, um, I used those. They're great to work with. And once I had all of my components prepped up, I assembled. Now, my burritos were vegan-ish because we like cheese, okay? So <laughs> I did add cheese and we did eat them with sour cream, but that's a preference. You can make them vegan. If you'd like to make them vegan, you can use vegan cheese or you can leave the dairy out altogether. It's up to you. That's the beauty in making things yourself. You can control the recipe. You can control the ingredients. You can make it your way. So at any rate, once I had my lovely ground walnut mixture ready to go and I had my added components like the wilted spinach, which you really don't have to wilt um, because it's going to cook again as it heats. So I began building. Uh, just like in that previous video, lay out all your wraps and then I like to roll close from me. So I start at the first third portion of the burrito and adding the fillings. I added the base of the walnut meat and I did like maybe, you know, a third cup per person and portioned it out like that. I think I made 12 wraps that day, so I just distributed it out until I had everybody had a portion. And then if there was a little excess, I added a little bit to everybody or to whichever one looked like it needed more. And then I did the same thing with all of my additives. So for my um, veggies, I did that. Then I added my cheese. Remember what I say about the cheese? And I added the quinoa. And then at that point, I just seal the burritos up being careful to fold the in the sides over and roll nice and snug and tight and when i finished rolling i held it down on the uh, open end so that they didn't unravel before cooking once i did that i came back to the same pan gave the skillet a little wipe out gave it a tiny bit more oil and then i toasted it on the open side and it took me to two rounds and I really didn't take it all the way. The easy way to do it, which you could do this in a larger quantity or you could do it ahead of time um, and have that meal ready to go for Sabbath. Or you can have like a Friday dinner already prepped out and ready to go. So if you have plans, you wanna take the kids out to movie day or do something um, Friday before sundown, you can get that in and know that dinner prep is already ready. So when you come in, if all you got is an hour, you got time to get those burritos heated. Put it in a sheet pan. I lined it with parchment paper. You could certainly line it with foil, but foil can stick. So you may wanna 
do a light coating of oil on there if you go with foil um, but I toasted them open side down then I flipped them over and just lightly brown the top for texture it's unnecessary you can do the whole thing in the oven if you want um, just oil the bottom of your sheet pan and that'll toast and enclose the bottom all at the same time but I just wanted to get that flavor off the bottom of the pan and also get that nice crust so I toasted them all on the bottom then I flipped them over and got a nice little browning on the top and then I put them all on my pan and when I was done it took me two batches to do them all uh, so I did about six at one time in this large skillet it's a 14 inch skillet which allows me to do larger quantities of food at one time so that's what I did and when I was done I loaded my burritos up here on my pan and I wrapped the pan in foil And I put it in a 350 degree oven to heat and at that point nothing was cold so by the time I finished the burritos you know I threw them in the oven and that allowed me to tidy up the kitchen you know I think I made some fresh um, hibiscus tea to accompany it and by the time I was done with the tea the burritos were ready was very easy very quick I often have my kids help make meals like that because it's doable and it's fun and they're more likely to eat meals when they've had a hand in preparing them especially if it's an unfamiliar ingredient but if you, if you have a picky eater like my little one I didn't tell him he had walnuts in it but he loved it and he ate more the next day so he was thankful for leftovers so i hope this helps you like i said quick snippet not the traditional run through that i like to do with you all but it's been a minute and i'm trying to get back on track so i wanted to shoot something out there and i did this a couple of weeks ago and i you know decided to take pictures because it came out so nice at the end but i didn't do it so anyway i decided to do it this hope you enjoy hope it helps you please let me know your questions things you'd like to see and um please stay tuned um sometime soon hopefully before the end of october i can get some more stuff out there but i'm i plan to do sweets next okay so we're gonna do some sweet stuff just remember to visit me like share subscribe send it out to your social media platforms hopefully we can help somebody and i hope you enjoy and that this will help you to put love into your body Oh,